ladies and gentlemen, on your feet for the offensive star. We've got the St. Louis Rams and Green Bay Packers for you here in this exhibition contest. The Packers playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to Find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. Crosby will be kicking this one off to get us started. He'll down it in the end zone. That brings out the second year man out of Oklahoma quarterback Sam Bradford. They'll set up shop at the 20 yard line. It's first and 10. Jackson gets it on the draw. There is no shortage of skilled players on this offense, but make no mistake, it's a unit that's built to run the football and running it is superstar Steven Jackson out of Oregon State who is one of the most talented and explosive and physical runners in the league. Yeah, he is one of the league's elite runners, that's for sure, and it's really a tribute to his durability and resilience. I'm not sure another back could take the kind of punishment Steven Jackson has taken over the years and still be as effective as he is today. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Defensively, this is a unit that is all about balance. From the guys up front to the guys in the secondary, it's a unit that is just solid. And it's led by free safety Nick Collins out of Bethune-Cookman College, who has become a perennial pro bowler. You know, safeties are a lot of times the generals of the secondary, and Nick Collins is one of the best. He has great instincts for anticipating where a play is going and continually shows terrific closing speed. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. It's fourth down. The Rams line up to punt. Williams will take off at the 38. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. And here comes University of Cal Berkeley grad Aaron Rodgers. They'll start at the 44-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Has a man to his right. Let's take a look at the key players now. The chief among them is Greg Jennings out of Western Michigan, who has emerged as the go-to guy of this offense. Yeah, there's a lot of talent out there, especially among the wide receivers. And yet, you're right, Gus. Greg Jennings has emerged as the favorite target because of his ability to catch any ball. He can go deep, and he can go get those tough catches over the middle as well. 
And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. They spot the rock on the 42-yard line. Goes through his progression. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. So the ball on the 27-yard line. Short throw to the right. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. He's searching for a receiver. He powers into the end zone for a touchdown. You have to be careful with this offense not to pay too much attention to those great receivers on the outside. Sometimes those tight ends can really be a problem. What did that pay off big? Crosby drills the PAT, and now it's a seven-point game. Green Bay is up seven. Crosby will be kicking off. Avery is back to receive the kick. We'll get our first flag of the game. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Andrew Corliss was there for the stop. Miller gets called for the hold. The offense will start at the 11. First down and 10. Jackson gets the ball. He's tackled at about the 21 by Jones. Second down and very short yardage here. He needs to get rid of it. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line by Woodson. Yeah. 
It's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's dropped down at about the 35-yard line by Bishop. Second down and nine. He's looking down the middle. Throws. He's wrestled down right around the 42-yard line by Barnett. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Bradford, hands off. He's brought down right around the 44-yard line by Matthews. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 44. They go with the run. He's tackled around the 41-yard line by Shields. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. They pitch it. A pickup of about three. They're looking at a second and seven. Good coverage downfield. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line by Barnett. Good defense all over the field that time. They had the deep routes covered, and when they tried to dump it off to the tight end, they were on it. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Makes the throw over the middle. He's dropped down around the 23-yard line by Hawk. Clayton looks to be seriously injured after that play. First down, 10 to go. Passes short right side. It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. They rule it incomplete.
Good try. That was a really good try, but let's give the officials credit. They got it right. Jackson takes the give. He's wrestled down around the 17-yard line by Pickett. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Passes it over the middle of the field. The pass falls incomplete. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He splits the uprights. So after that kick, the score is now the Rams. Three, the Packers. Seven. St. Louis gets ready to kick it away. Shields stands back to field the kick. Gets it to the 21. Chamberlain was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 21. First down and 10. They've had to retool the defense, and the result is a unit that is much quicker and younger than it has been in the past. Chris Long from Virginia is one of those good, up-and-coming young players who always seems to be around the football. Thank goodness, Chris, that this young man got his mother's talent. Yeah, he definitely overcame his father's upbringing, but here is a guy <laughs> that we have enjoyed watching play in the National Football League. He's intelligent, but what really separates him is just his nonstop motor. He never gives up on a play. Third down, seven yards to go. Dumps it out right. Watch out, he's got space. A nice play there results in a big gain through the air. Yeah, and you see the defensive back try to make a play on the ball there instead of making sure the pass fell incomplete. This guy will make a lot of big plays for his team, but sometimes... It's a bit of a gamble, and that time it didn't pay off. And we'll see if he takes a more conservative approach the next time the ball is thrown in his direction. It's first and ten. Still looking for an open man. Jennings was his intended target. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own, 37. Oh. 
Grant, left side. He's brought down right around the 38-yard line by Gibson. That brings up third and ten. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. It's fourth down. The Packers are lining up to punt it away. He takes the ball at the 20. He gets out to the 28-yard line. Papinga was there for the stop. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Bradford hands it off. He's tackled right around the 30-yard line by Pickett. from their own 30-yard line. Passes out to the left. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. The ruling is incomplete. He took a stab at a great catch, but that time just didn't happen. Has a man to his right. A gain of six yards on the play. It's fourth down. The Rams line up to punt. He'll take off from his 18. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. Grant gets the call. And he's tackled at about the 23-yard line by Bartell. After one quarter of play, the score is the Packers, seven, the Rams, three. Welcome back to St. Louis. from their own 23-yard line. Surveys the field. There's the deep throw! It's knocked down. Excellent play by the defender.
And that brings up third down and eight yards to go. Ball on their own 23. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. Fourth down. The Packers lining up to punt. Number 16 will take it at the 35. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Short throw to the right. The Rams have a bunch of short completions, but they're not getting the yards after the catch right now, and that's because the defense is playing them very tight and making good, solid tackles. from their own 43-yard line. Pass is short right side. The Rams aren't looking all that sharp at all right now in the passing game. And I know it's still early, but they have to be getting a little frustrated with their inability to attack this defense. And third down, seven yards to go. Looking for a man. He rolls out to his right. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. He goes down again amidst a heavy pass rush. Yeah, that's something he's got to improve if he wants to reach the next level. It's almost like he takes himself out of the play the moment he hears footsteps. You just can't keep putting your team in a hole by taking sacks. Just throw it away. And not to mention, he takes an inordinate amount of hits. You know, that's a good point, Gus. The NFL is really geared to protect the quarterback, but when he has the ball, he's going to take some shots. Fields the punt at the 19-yard line. Chamberlain was there to bring him down. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Searching for an open man. Short throw to the left. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Aaron Rodgers handled all the pressure of following a legend so beautifully, but now he is starting to build on his own very impressive career. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Short pass to his left. He's dropped down around the 46-yard line by Laranitis. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 46. He is wanting to go deep with it. And he drops the short pick. Nelson was the intended receiver.
They'll face second down and 10. Has a man deep. The defender tips it away. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Goes through his progression. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. Fourth down. The Packers are lining up to punt this one away. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. They'll set up shop at the 20. First down and 10. Good coverage downfield. And looking right, he lets it go. Caught wide open. The quarterback is having some success with this matchup. What do you see here, Chris? Well, after a big gain like that, the quarterback may try to target this guy for really the rest of the game. It'll be interesting to see how this matchup progresses now that he's found a bit of an opening. And first down and 10 to go now, following the big gain through the air. Gets the ball. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Matthews. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Jackson takes the delayed handoff, and he'll lose yardage on the play. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence, and if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. We've got a third and six at the 25. Has a man out to his right. This is close. Did he come up with it? They're not going to give it to him. Well, let's give him some credit for making a great effort, but just unable to pull that one in. It's up, and it's good. Josh Brown is one of the best long-distance kickers in the league. He's got the leg to get it there from any attempt inside of 60. St. Louis is just about ready to kick this one away. Williams is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. 
He brings it back to the 23. Chamberlain was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 23. It's first and 10. Play action. Wants to go long. The pass is tipped. So they'll face a second and 10. Throws middle of the field. He's brought down around the 48-yard line by Dahl. from their own 48-yard line. Daylight! He's tackled around the 33-yard line by Dockery. And we'll have a first down and 10. Flips it out short. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line by Hines. That's a 10-yard gain. Second down and very short yardage here. Handoff up the middle. He's dropped down right around the 18-yard line by Diggs. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. And the ball on the 18-yard line. Rodgers, pitch out. He's wrestled down around the 18-yard line by Diggs. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Someone jumped early down there. I think those are just embarrassing. You go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it, the, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. Running out of time. And they get to it. Not many plays in the playbook designed to get this kind of yardage. Third down and long. Hey. 
Look out, heavy pressure on him. It's a quarterback sack. The field goal unit is on the field. And he missed it wide left. First down. 10 to go. Ball on their own 47. Jackson on the run. He's brought down right around the 44-yard line by Hawk. And two yards away here on second down. Bradford with the draw play. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. And it appears we have an injury on the field. First down and 10. Surveys the field. Looking to his left. He's going deep. Intercepted. That's the game's first turnover. It's first and 10. Ball spotted at the 27. Checks down to the short pass. He's tackled around the 31-yard line by Laranitis. Grant picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. Looks left. Here's a short pass. That pass rush didn't get there that time, but it got close enough to distract the quarterback and force him into a bad throw. And looking at a third and six right here. Ball on their own 31. Short throw to the right. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. They're going to say he came down with it. Boy, I wasn't too sure about that one, but the officials got together and came to the conclusion that, yes, that was a good catch. It's fourth down. The Packers are lining up to punt it away.
Number 16 will take it at the 21. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Passes short right side. And he's knocked out at the 33. Avery caught that one for a gain of six. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Dumps it out right. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line by Lee. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. He's dropped down around the 40-yard line by Matthews. Going up top towards the right. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. The ball is on their own 40. The pocket collapsing. Looking at third and long now after the sack. Looked like someone might have jumped. That penalty will move them back a bit. Sloppy play right there. The one thing you learn as an offensive player is you can't give away yards. They are just too hard to come by. The offense faces another third down situation here as they line up. Bradford hands it off. Spin move, and he's brought down. And they'll be well short of the first down. You know, not a bad run there, but you're talking about a situation where it was third and long yardage and so defensively you're like yeah thanks go ahead run the football fourth down the Rams are lining up to punt this one away No, he dropped it at the 18-yard line. Gets to the 31-yard line. Dockery was there to bring him down. 
You know, this guy's usually pretty sure-handed. I don't know exactly what caused him to muff that one. My guess, though, is that he didn't get in position to catch it cleanly. And I'll be interested to see if that has any impact on this series as both teams come onto the field. Passes out to his right. It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. They say no, he didn't have it. He took a stab at a great catch, but that time just didn't happen. Still looking for an open man. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. Can't hang on. It's knocked loose. Jennings was the intended receiver on the play. It's third down, 10 yards for first. Good coverage downfield. He's wrestled down at about the 47 yard line by Dahl. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Short pass to his left. Aaron Rodgers, it appears, is human after all. It's not very often we see him overthrow a receiver like that. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 47. Has a man short to his left. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And that one's good for five yards through the air. It's a third and five situation. Searching for an open man. He rolls out to his right. So, it's fourth down. The Packers line up to punt. And as we head to halftime, our score is the Packers, seven. The Rams, six.
Welcome back to St. Louis. Green Bay will get it first here in the second half. It's fielded at the two. Gets it to the 21. Hines was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 21-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Throws to his right. And the tackle was made by Chris Long. The Packers keep having to dump it off on those short little pass plays that don't gain much. They may want to take a shot down the field just to try and stretch this defense. They're looking now at second and eight. They hand it off. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Facing a third and eight situation. Goes through his progression. Another catch on this drive. He's brought down around the 47-yard line by Dahl. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. First down and 10. Ball on their own 47. Makes the throw over the middle. Going up top, and he's wide open. That's a touchdown. DJ William brought it in for the 51-yard score through the air. Mason Crosby tacks on the extra point. Green Bay holds an eight-point advantage. Mason Crosby is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 16 stands back to field the kick and takes off from his own goal line. DJ William was there to bring him down. It's first and 10. Jackson takes it right side. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line by Pickett.
It's second down. They only need a couple of inches for the first. Jackson, the ball carrier. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line by Hawk. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 28. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. Second down, eight yards to go. Has a man to his right. He's dropped down around the 38-yard line by Shields. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Darby off the right side. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by Matthews. It's now second and nine. On the ground, left side. Six yard pickup. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. He'll get it again. He's brought down right around the 44-yard line by Hawk. First down, 10 to go. Looks left. Here's a short pass. And he's able to hold on to it. Gibson gains about five yards on the play. Second and five coming up here. Darby gets another carry. He's tackled around the 37-yard line by Walden. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Darby on the give. Brought down behind the line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And the kick is good. 
He really came through on the long distance attempt. You don't make a kick like that without a perfect hold and a perfect snap. But let's give this kicker some credit. That was an extraordinary effort. Josh Brown gets ready to kick it away. Nelson is back to receive the kick. He'll return it from the one. The Packers will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. First down and ten. They might have missed time to snap on that one. You know, it's just five yards, but a penalty like that can really throw your offense off rhythm. You definitely have to now change the play call at this point. Feeds it to the back. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line by Gibson. It's second down now and 13 to go. The Rock is on their own 13. Grant on the right side. He's dropped down around the 14-yard line by Dahl. Third down and 13 yards to go. And looks left. Throws. Looking deep. And he's got a man open. He's wrestled down around the 15-yard line by Hall. The big gain through the air sets up the offense with another first and ten. Looks right. Throws. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Green Bay with a first and goal, with their eyes on going up by two scores. Grant takes a handoff. He's brought down just outside the goal line by Butler. Offense facing second down and goal now. Ball on the one-yard line. Looking. Fires it to the left. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Third down and goal situation. Ball on the one. Oh, 
Rodgers hands it off. And it looks short from up here. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. The field goal unit is on the field. And he makes it. Mason Crosby is good on the try to make it an eight-point game. Green Bay looks ready to kick it away. Avery is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He makes it to the 23-yard line. James Jones was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. Short throw to the left. Cuts back and he's dropped. It's second down and eight to go. Short throw to the right. He's tackled around the 27-yard line by Bigby. Pretty good job by the defense that time. They took away the deep throws, forcing the check down, and then they were there to make the tackle for a short game. It's a third and five situation. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line by Matthews. So, it's fourth down. The Rams ready to punt this one away. Williams takes it at the 25. He makes it out to the 34-yard line. Dockery was there to bring him down. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Tucks and runs. He's free. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. from their own 46-yard line. Grant gets it on the inside. He's dropped down around the 46-yard line by Fletcher. And that's the end of the quarter. Our score in this one is the Packers, 17, the Rams, 9. 
Welcome back to St. Louis. The Packers have a one touchdown lead and the ball as we start the final quarter. Grant takes the delayed handoff. He's wrestled down right around the 38-yard line by Dockery. And we'll have a first down and 10. Straight up the middle, got room! He's brought down around the 33-yard line by Laranitis. Brings up second down and five. They're on their 33. Passes short right side. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. How about the nice touch on that ball? Yeah, but that makes it so hard for a defender to try and make a play. That's exactly what you want to do. Just sort of drop it in a hole over the top. They line up at the 20. Surveys the field. He's dragged down on the play. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Starks gets the call. Chris Long was there for the stop. And that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. So it's third down, and they need 12 for the first. And the ball is on the 21. Passes out to his right. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line by Dahl. The completion nets them about seven. The kicking team will line up for this one. This try from 32 yards away. It's up and it's good. So that will make the score the Packers. 20, the Rams, 9. Mason Crosby will be kicking off. Avery stands back to field the kick. 
He'll take it from the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Hawk was there to bring him down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Has a man to his right. The key to that play really was the coverage down the field, forcing the quarterback to go to the check down, and they came up and make the tackle. Here comes the heat, and they got him. After the sack, they're going to be looking at a third down and long play here. He's going to his right. Throws. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there, and I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. It's fourth down. The Rams lining up to punt. Williams fields it at the 37. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Has it on the sideline, but was he inbounds? The officials will huddle. They're going to say he came down with it. Donald Driver managed to make it look so easy out there. There was never a doubt that he had that one. Passes out to the left. And he's tackled at about the 27 by Butler. First down, 10 to go. So the ball on the 27-yard line. Dumps it out right. He's dropped down around the 20-yard line by Bartell. Jones gains seven yards with the catch. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Flips it out short to his left. He's wrestled down right around the 16-yard line by Butler. They have the ball at the 16. Here's the give. Runs for eight yards. And they need just eight for the score. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Clifton is guilty of moving early. 
They're looking at a second and seven. Rolling out to his right. Fires a strike to the right. And he drops the short pick. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. Third down, seven yards to go. And they'll go from the 13. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. And the kick team is on to try this 33-yard field goal. And the kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now the Packers, 23, the Rams, 9. Green Bay gets ready to kick it away. Avery is back to receive the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. The stop was made by Mason Crosby. Looks like he's a bit shaken up on that one. They'll go to work at the 30. First down and 10. They go with the run. He's brought down around the 37-yard line by Matthews. And looks left. Throws. Gibson cannot come up with it after taking a solid hit. Yeah, he got rocked and the ball rolled. There was nothing left after that hit. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They'll throw for the first. Searching for an open man. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line by Woodson. It's first and 10. Again with the run. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line by Williams. They're going deep. It's almost picked off.
Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Goes through his progression. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Looks like they decided to go for it here. Has a seam down the middle. He's dropped down at about the 17-yard line by Woodson. They'll have first and 10 once again after that big gain through the air. Here's a pass over the middle. The pass is tipped away. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Looking for a big gain down the middle. Number 46 was the intended receiver on the play. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Throws to his right. He bats the ball away. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Not much indecision by the coach here. He'll keep the offense out there to go for it. Looked like someone might have jumped. Fraley is guilty of moving early. So after the penalty, it's now fourth and 15. Throws to his left. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. They'll get the ball here at the 22. And we'll have a first down and 10. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. And it's so embarrassing to jump off sides for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. Sometimes you just forget. Hands it to the back. He's wrestled down around the 27-yard line by Diggs. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Hey, 
Starks gets it on the inside. He's brought down right around the 30-yard line by Butler. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Third down now. They just need a couple to convert. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Rodgers will hand it off. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. So, it's fourth down. The Packers line up to punt. Number 16 fields it at the 26. Well, I've seen too much football to ever say a ball game's over, but realistically, even if they score quickly, they still have to recover an onside kick and then score again. That's a tall order for any team. Dumps it short. Second down and seven yards to go. Pass is short right side. He's tackled right around the 34-yard line by Woodson. Gain of four on the pass. Third down, six yards to the first. It's a quarterback sack. And that will be number four for the game. Really impressive performance so far by this defense. And I thought coming in, they had a good chance to get pressure. I'm not sure I even anticipated this kind of pressure, though. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. They rule it incomplete. Big fourth down play by the defense that time, and now the pressure shifts to the other defense to try and make a play. Starks gets the call. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line by Butler. And they line the ball up at the 26. Hey. 
They go with the kneel down. It's third down and 11 to go. With the ball on the 28-yard line. Again, goes to one knee. The field goal unit is on the field. The kick is good. And with that, the score is the Packers. 26, the Rams, 9. That's all from St. Louis. Stick around for our post-game wrap-up. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game.